everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Hellion. So last episode, we took our trusty cargo bay and the power supply for a good old mining run, and we actually got quite a bit of stuff out of it. Uh, I'll show you in a minute right now, I'm just clearing out the ship, because today I want to go and look for a uh, life support module, for one. And the reason being is I want to actually have a better uh, air tank for depressurizing the station if I need to. I did go ahead and pro process all that ore, and this is everything we have. We have a lot of helium, we got a lot of nitro, we got a thick rand of hydrogen, which is really good. A lot of oxygen, and go over here, you can see that basically all our air tanks are almost completely full, which is why I want to get a life support module, because if I have to depressurize something, or the whole station, I got no room to put it, and I have to vent everything. Uh, if we go to vessel systems here, you can see the power supply has got quite a bit of fuel. I'm actually going to go ahead and just fill it right up just because. And that still leaves us with 180. And yeah, uh, as I was saying, I was cleaning out the ship. I got all the shelves cleared out because I want to go and do some scrapping today. Go look for some circuits. Uh, pick up a life support module so we have a better life support storage for when the time comes where I want to start rearranging the station. And I was thinking about things like, it, there might be times where if I want to move a few sections around, I'll have to depressurize three rooms. And I really, or three modules now, really want to have the space to depressurize two modules right now. Uh, I could always pressurize the, the power supply if I really need to, but that's not that big of an issue. Uh, I like to keep that de thing depressurized just for, so I can take it with the cargo bay and do do mining. Uh, if I take the power supply too, I can also refine while I'm mining so I can maximize my space if I really feel like spending more than three hours mining. But next time I go mining, I'm taking a scanner with me, definitely. So I'm just trying to turn around here. Let's get to the ship. I gotta turn the power back on because that refiner u still uses quite a bit of power power system okay so let's turn the tug on we have power I'm gonna leave the reactor running for now uh, solar panels and everything else is okay so now all I gotta do is just disconnect I can uh, turn that off as well let me see what's in this warp cell here Ooh, we have a bit of decay 21% I was gonna leave these downstairs so I was gonna got one here full but I was gonna leave the other three downstairs so 21% okay so I'm gonna do a couple a little touch up here go put those down the bay and I'm gonna head out to we're going to burner today that's where we're gonna find a life support module maybe we can find some posters and some stuff that we can't actually craft so I'll meet you there and we have arrived at burner so let's do a scan and see what we can find. And see if we find anything good. So we got derelict, derelicts, crew quarter. I don't care about the crew quarter. And more derelicts. Hmm. What if we should take the chance not crew quarter? You know what? Let's go hit these derelicts up. Just going to the debris field though. That's the problem. Everything's in the debris field. But let's go check it out. Why not? Let's go warp two, stage two. And initialize. Wow, that jump to get here only took two percent. I'm actually quite amazed with that. No. Uh -oh. Okay, good. I thought we were gonna be going through, going through burner. As far as I know, that's still a thing. Being able to warp into a planet. I don't know if they ever did add. Uh, I'm gonna call it idiot proofing on the on the warp drive, making sure that the that the ship's got line of sight before it actually de performs a jump. I haven't tested that yet, but with the save mechanism, maybe it's something we should try. But here we go, and it's gonna take 20 seconds. 
think it's right into a debris field. I'm 82%, so I do have to be careful of that. But I have a full welder, so we should be okay as long as we don't hit anything big. All right, and just in time for some weather, some rain. Okay, so they're right in front of me. So let's try a match without crashing. And I should be able to get a match right now. Yes. So I'm going to get as close as I can. And then I want to keep an eye out on, on the outside for circuits. Uh, I was informed that apparently I can't find them on the outside, just like the, the armatures and the plating. Okay, we are matched, right? We should be. We're also getting pelted, so let's hurry up. Uh, do a save first. <laughs> And helmet down. Let's get out there. Oh yes, yeah, just getting pummeled. I think we still have a couple of minutes before we get into the bulk of it. Air tank full. Ah, oh, really? Uh, and I can't vent. And uh, no, let's not do that. I guess. Uh, what do I do here? Let's see, this door doesn't have an override. Uh, that's what I was worried about. Oh. Okay, it didn't blast me into space. All right, that's what I was worried about. Okay, let's go check these things out quickly. See, that's going to be the problem, too, with the station. If I ever want to depressurize, let's say, half the station, I don't have the space to store it. So I'll probably have to end up venting modules. But speaking of modules, let's see what we have here quickly. I already know what the uh, nodes I got to look for on the outside are. So we'll take a quick look at that. There's some of this plating here. I'll take that. If I can get my fingers on the right controls. Shattered plating. Where's the rest of them? Hmm, should we fix it up while we're here? What's that? That is nothing. Alright, let's see what else we can find out here. And then we'll go inside quickly. There's another one. And I see another one down there that actually might be the circuits I'm looking for. Nope, nothing. Alright, what else we got here? Anything else? No. Not on this one. Let's go in and see what we can find. Oh, there goes one derelict. Something tells me this one's going to go soon. So maybe we get the hell out of here. <laughs> Just in case. Okay, where's the other one? Right over here. I never actually had one blow up close when I was close by, so hopefully it doesn't happen. Maybe there's you know, like griefing protection around the player. If not, it'd be quite the show. Caught on tape, blown up inside a derelict while reaching for that ex one extra battery. And we have nothing here. Curse you. Come on. Ooh, found a basketball net. Too bad I have one already. That is fine, because we can disassemble it. Oh, there's the circuits, there's the circuits. Grab that. Aha! Hooray! Part electronics, or whatever that was. I'll check that in a second here. Just want to do a quick run around. I don't think I've got much time left on this one. Alright, let's go in. Could be a bad thing. Hopefully not. 
And I am upside down, am I not? Yes, I am. That's fine. Is there anything good on here? If I could stop floating around all over the place. That will take the basketball net white. Okay, I blew up. Okay, so apparently it doesn't damage you. That is good to know. And I have a hull breach, apparently. In the windshield, of course. Well, it's a good thing I got a tank full of air. Let's go ahead and patch this up. And then we'll have to go check out some more derelicts. See what's combined. At least I got some circuits. I don't know how many I got, but I got some. And that is good. And hole fixed. Alright. So let's get in. Let's get in and out. And where am I? Yes, doors over here. The problem with space is there is no up or down. Just uh, relation to what you're looking at. Okay, so pressurize this and see what we got out of this. One circuit. That's all you get out of that. Uh, that sucks. But we got lots of carbon fibers, and that's good. All right, so I'll turn that off, and I'll be at the next derelicts. Okay, here we are at the next one. I haven't really found too much, so I thought we'd find this one. I'll go check this one out. It's just outside the field, uh, just after I left the other one there. The large pieces started showing up, so I figured that was a good time to get out of there. We're not going to mess around too much with trying to get a proper... Alignment here. Uh, where's the other chip pack? Take the full one here. Uh, ship is in serious need of repairs right now, too. Put that one down there for now. Uh, where's the holes going to be? They're all going to be outside. So, I gotta run out here and then probably go check out. Probably do some repairs first, I think. What do we add? What do we add? 78%. Yeah, we'll go we'll do a quick run around the ship, see what we can find for damage. Alright. That's probably going to be right up here. Oh, look, another hull breach just in time. Come on, get me in there, get me in there. this up. Should be able to armor plate these things. Oh yeah, and as far as uh, the other ship, the mule, if that's what it's still called, I have looked at sort of like a cheat sheet that shows you where to find specific modules. And I was look originally looking for a power supply mo or a solar panel module. And I noticed that there is another ship called Sarah. That's a shuttle, and I'm wondering if that's that's the mule. Uh, the only thing is, was we have to go to Airedale out to Athnar or Arlen and Cinna to find it. Oh, 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 oh! Slow down, slow down, slow down. Grab it, grab it. All right. Let's. Uh, ooh, I'll take that, and I'll take that. Ooh, piece of wreckage. Ooh, piece of wreckage. Ooh, piece of wreckage. Okay. Well, at least I know these things won't kill you when they blow up now. As far as I know, maybe I was just lucky on that one. Alright, we we'll want to grab this. Come here, come here, come on. There we go. Uh, I don't have the room for it. Sure, I do. I don't know why I didn't put it in there in the first place. Uh, we'll take one peek down here. I don't think there's going to be much. I haven't really paid attention to where all the the locations are. Uh, sure, we'll take it. 
Why not? Can always dump it if we find something more useful. All right, let's go inside. Uh, that is something out there, isn't it? No, no, it's mm, just part of the part of the module. Ooh, a warp cell. I'll take it. I'll never turn down a free warp cell unless it's empty. And even then, I won't turn it down now because you can recycle them. They're actually a pretty good source of. Well, I wouldn't say a good source, but you get a fair, fair amount out of both of them. And why are you not going up here where you belong? Stupid thing. Oh, another basketball hoop. Of course I made it, now I'm going to find it everywhere. Okay, what else we got in here? Nothing. Check the locker behind me. Nothing. Uh, what else we got? Nothing over there. I guess if we have this. There's a servo too. I'll probably take the servo. Come on. Worst worst hitbox in the world. I'll take that. Is this anything? Cause that's new. Apparently not. And well, I believe there was something in here, was there not? Alright, I think I think this derelict is clean. I picked her right down to nothing. Oh air filter. I don't actually have any spares of those. Take that. And I think that's it. Nothing on top of the lockers. Nope. Alright, let's let's bail. Let's get out of here. Come on, go boom, go boom. Oh, I see some more of this stuff here. Uh, maybe I'll grab them. Actually. Oh, I thought that was a circuit. That will grab them anyways. Why not? Oh, that's why not. Uh, get rid of the hoop. Maybe I should get more out of this. All right, well that's that's that one. So now, off to the next. Take a quick look for circuits as I float by before it blows up in my face. Nothing. All right, I'll beat you in the next one. Okay, I've been jumping around a little bit here trying to find different derelicts and whatnot, and even a life support module, but I haven't been having the best of luck finding anything. Uh, one of the reasons being is, since I'm playing offline, the despawn and respawn counters aren't actually running when I shut the game off. And that's the advantage to playing online, and I can't park to that one for some reason. So we'll park to this one then. So I might have to go somewhere else to look for a life support module. Okay, it wasn't actually going to let me park there. And so, yeah. I'm back at Burner again. These ones just spawned in, so we should have some time on this. I like seeing that warp cell up there. It's nice. Alright, so let's get out there and brave the, brave the weather. Let's see if we can find some more circuits, because that's what I want. I've got one to my name. Uh, from what I've seen from the recipes, you don't need a whole, a whole lot to make any of the higher tier stuff, but you still need them. But anyways, uh, let's head out. Uh, I think I was thinking about checking out the map, finding out what the, where the nearest civilian planet moon is, because I've looked around Bether and I can't find any life support modules or even any derelicts around. And it could be that maybe they're just not spawning around there anymore. But let's go in and take a look. We'll go hit up these outer nodes first. And let's see what we can find here. I'm not going to be too worried about these, but I'll take them anyways. Nothing there. What's over here? Anything? Anything good besides the sun on my face? Uh, let's see. 
Nothing here. Let's see what else. Anything else? Another armature. Two more armatures. Eh, not really worried about them. It's the circuits I want. Let's go inside and see if we can find. Uh, like I said, I'm sure I've got some time on these. Uh, you, usually you can tell when they spawn by the derelict number, and I believe the first two digits of the number, for instance, this one is 22, which means it spawned on the 22nd. Uh, as far as the way the other codes go, I don't know. But it does give you an idea of how safe you're going to be. Uh, but judging by the looks of it, it's almost like somebody else has been here already. Because I'm not seeing anything. Or I'm just not paying attention, or I've been here already. Well, I see a servo, so I haven't been here already. I haven't been here yet. That is good. Oh, except for the fact that I can't actually fit that gap there. Come on. There we go. This derelict doesn't look like it's in the best of shape. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Besides a hot blast of steam in my face. Hmm. This one was kind of a bust. But that's okay, because we got two others. Alright, where is the other ones? Uh, that is the ship. That is right above me, is it not? Yes, it is. Alright, let's go check this one out. Hello, circuits. Come on, where are you? Nothing. Uh, more of that plating. I see a resource canister inside. We might actually grab it. Just for the sake of it. Make up for the containers I've lost already on my last mining mission. Hmm. Oh, I might as well grab this while it's here. I'm never turning down free scrap. Well, unless I don't have the space for it. Never pass up a warp cell. Never. That almost looks like a hack tool, but I know it's not. Alright, what else we got in here? Basketball can stay. Uh, what else we got? Another air filter. Ooh. Oh, sorry. Carbon filter. Come on. Thank you. Sure. I'll take the clip. You never know. Another big piece of wreckage floating by. Alright, off to the last one. So I've been to that one, I've been to this one, and it's this one. Way, way, way over there. Alright, let's go check this out. See, that's what I mean about the, the number, the 22G04L. <laughs> I'm surprised they never did add a health bar. Like, I know uh, the less color you have in your vision, uh, the more hurt you are. Not that it matters, I have stim packs. We can make stim packs now. Alright, we are coming in. See what we got here. It's another big one. And please tell me I see some circuits outside. I know we're too close to Main Street to really find any high tier stuff that'll actually give any circuits. But you know, there's always Tesla balls and coffee machines. Wow, these are hurting derelicts, I must say. Alright, let's see what we can find, if anything. Another basketball hoop. 
I don't want no basketball hoops. I'll take the stim pack though. Just in case. You know those those debris those debris chunks, they come awfully quick. And nothing in here, wow. A couple of stim packs, that's about it. Or cycling if anything. And nothing here. Wow, this one really sucked. Well wasn't there anything here? No, there wasn't. I guess I might go back to the ship, do a scan, and see if anything else has spawned. Cause I'm not seeing anything of use to me. Wow. Everything's of use, but nothing I'm really looking for. Oh, oh, I see you. I see you. Oh, do this, give me this again. Ha ha. More electronics. Okay, now you can blow up. Oh, not yet, not yet. I like that you can actually see them. Cool. Got three of them now. Now, I want to know, were they actually here to begin with and I just didn't see them, or did they spawn in afterwards? I'm not too sure. Alright, well. Okay, now I'm going to head back to the tug and I'll let you know if I find anything else. Okay, I'm back at the station now. I jumped back and forth between Burner and Ether and didn't really find too much else, so I figure we'll take what we got and see what we can find. Uh, like I said, because of the fact that I play offline uh, when I'm not around the game, the despawn counter doesn't actually count. So, uh, I think maybe next episode, maybe we'll go head out to Airedale and see what we can find. So, I'm going to get a lot of resources out of this. Nice, let's get our first circuit. It's funny, it, the tooltip actually says slot for multiple items, but only lets you put one item in at a time, which kind of is kind of productive, but whatever. You get free circuits, free scrap, free carbon fiber, and yeah. So I'm going to cycle a few more things and then we'll see what we can make. Maybe we'll make another warp cell just because we have it. Uh, I might actually hang on to those. I was thinking about breaking them down, but you never know when they're going to come in handy. Alright, zap that, and zap that. Now, I wonder if I can actually store this stuff in the cargo bay. Oh, that was out of the warp cell I picked up. It wasn't a 28 er Alright, and zap that away. So we go here, and. So it has 200 units of storage in here, and then, I don't know if, oh yeah, okay, 500 in here. Alright, so we drag our circuits over, and we'll drag the alloys over, and drag the carbon fiber over. Oh, you're going to do that, are you? Alright, let's try this again. Okay, why do you not transfer over? Let's try this again. Oh, that's why? Okay, I got it fixed. Yeah, every once in a while uh, you play for a certain amount of time and the uh, game sort of becomes unresponsive. It responds, but it doesn't. And even trying to do an auto save, uh, doing the quick save wasn't working too well. But, now that we have circuits, what do we make? Coffee machine. No, no, we're not going to make a coffee, coffee machine. I don't know. What should we make? Ooh. I said I was going to make an asteroid scanner. And I think we're actually going to do that. I don't like that's so nice that you can actually make the, the potato suit. It's cool. We can actually make the suit, but that's about it. We can't make the jetpack or the helmet. Uh, so we need two, ten circuits for the EVA suit. All right, so we can make like new, re better resource injectors and containment field generators and servos. It doesn't actually tell you what each level of the servo does. 
but that's fine. Hmm, a hacking tool. I think we're going to go with the scanner. Uh, I need some hydrogen in there. Done and done. It'll take 27 seconds. I'm sure I could have found one, but whatever. When we find one, we can break it down and get the circuits out of it. Uh, I didn't have anything else here to recycle, did I? No, I didn't. All right, give me my scanner. So we have one more circuit left. What can we make? What should we make? Don't really need a hacking tool. Uh, as soon as this is, this is done, we'll, we'll find out. There is our scanner. All right. Back to the 300 meters. You don't even get, it costs two circuits to make. You don't even get one circuit back. That's garbage. That's garbage. Should at least get one back if it costs two. But we have it, so I guess that's all that matters. So let's go back and see what else. Let's see what we can make with one circuit. A hacking tool. And we already have one of those. I'm not sure, but I think we might actually need one of these to get to the next next planet. How to Airedale, for instance? But I could be wrong. We'll try that next time. I just want to see what else we could really use one circuit for. And by the looks of it, nothing except the hacking tool, which does me no good. So why are some of them outlined, and some of them not? I think the ones that are outlined are ones that we can make with what we have in there. Like possibly, I think that's what it is. Yeah. So this makes me wonder now if I if if I happen to find a Tesla ball, will I actually get anything for breaking it down? Will I get that one circuit or no? You know what? For the sake of testing, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna waste my circuit on this and try to recycle it and see if I get my circuit back. And you bastard. Oh well, we have a Tesla ball now. Oh well. well, at least we know not to pick them up now. Uh, be more important to grab the circuits outside. Let's go put this. Let's go put this in my quarters. Why not? A little bit of something. That's what they need on the ships. They need a dashboard on the ships. So you can place like little trinkets and stuff like that that you, you find and make. Okay, where is my, my Tesla ball? There we go. That was the uh, work of our day. Well, we got this too, so we're good to go. Uh, Non-scannable object. Ooh, can I scan the drill? I guess not. Anyways, I'm going to call the episode here. Uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.